I just wanted to protect my family. Um, I knew what I had to do and I was ready to do it. A Wilson County family was forced to protect themselves this morning after a man tried breaking into their home. Now it all happened after a man crashed his car into a gas station, then made a run for it, leaving drugs behind. News Channel 5's Jesse Knutson has the story from Mount Juliet. It was shaking the house. Pounding erupted from the back porch door of Colton Vickers house around 630 okay, uh, this morning and right away he knew something was wrong. I came upstairs with the uh, tomahawk and my father had the uh, pistol. It was loaded. We had one in the chamber. It was ready to go. Outside was a man desperately trying to get into the home. He had blood all over him. He didn't have his shirt on. The man was covered in blood because just minutes earlier, the man had crashed his Hummer into a gas station sign down the street. Before any police arrived, the driver ran from his car, leaving behind a gun and drugs. He then broke into one home and jumped out of a window before making his way to the Vickers home. It was just so intense, man. My adrenaline is still going. Colton says the man was yelling that someone was after him. So with the gun and hatchet at the ready, the family let the man inside and got him to the ground. He was lying on his back about right here. But the family knew something wasn't right with the man, suspecting he was on drugs. His eyes were real glossy like um, like there was nobody home. That's when the family called police. My dad told him, if you move, I'm going to have to shoot you. Luckily, the man stayed in place until police arrived, but then he made a break for it. He just walks up and just slams the window. Like the man headbutted the window, then jumped. He literally slid. Sheriff deputies chased the man who is now covered in glass outside into the neighbor's yard. He was over there when the cops tased him. It took multiple officers to get the man to the ground. I guess he grabbed one of the cop's boots and bit him. After injuring multiple officers, the man was taken into custody and transported to the hospital. And Colton was left with the comfort of knowing that he did not have to use force to keep his family safe. You don't want to take a life, but when your loved, loved ones are involved, you you will if you have to, I guess. In Wilson County, Jesse Knudsen, News Channel 5. And tonight we learn the man is 36-year-old Homero Navarro of Old Hickory. The Wilson County Sheriff's Office says they've charged Navarro with aggravated burglary, DUI, assault on two officers, and other charges.